So today we're gonna talk about music videos, how to shoot them better. I got five tips for you guys, but before we get to that, let's go ahead and play a music video that I shot. I'll see you guys soon. So I don't know what it is about me, but every single time I'm back to make a YouTube video, I either gotta eat guacamole, tacos, or both. Grab the guacamole and dip it on the tacos. Something about me just getting hungry because I know when I'm making a YouTube video, it's about to take some time. So as I mentioned, we're gonna take away things from this music video to apply it in the tips that I'm gonna give you guys today. So number one is the flow of your music videos. Biggest takeaway you guys can take from this music video that I say a lot of people don't do, have a flow throughout your music video. Keep it changing, keep showing different clips throughout the music video. Do not show the whole music video in 30 seconds. For example, the beginning was just really him leaving the house and then from there it transitioned to the drone shot and then now he's performing as he's walking the dog. Very, very simple and it's just keeping you engaged, it's flowing. The pace of the video is pretty good. Make sure you guys always bring in a clip or two that's new to the music video. Every 20 seconds, every 15 seconds, every 30 seconds, just try to just find a balance and that's one way you can make your music videos better. Now tip number two, this one's quite easy and that is the master performance. So if you guys are shooting a music video, don't shoot performances all over the place. Like you can if there's a place for it. For example, this music video required a lot of performances. As a matter of fact, I think the whole music video was performances, but that was the flow that we wanted to do. But there was that one master performance and that was inside the mini mark. So when you guys are shooting a music video, make sure you guys figure out where is the master performance going to be at. You always want to have at least one dominant master performance that you can cut back in. And no matter how many times you're going to show that footage, it's so clean. It's epic. You want to have something that's going to draw the people in. Now, the third advice, less effects, better shots. What I mean by that is I see a lot of people nowadays, they just shoot in one corner, then they shoot in another corner, and then all of a sudden you see the edit, it's just like an effect every two seconds. Unless the effect is gonna enhance your visual, or you're gonna just add a little flair to it, then it's okay to do some effects, but for the most part, focus on better shots. Just look at the music video I shot, that one did not have a lot of effects. I focused more on simple, besides him in the mini more, and I added the jitter effect, the shots and the images that I provided, took over it wasn't the effect the effect i'm not trying to cover up my scene i want people to be engaged and understand what's going on in the music video you look at the best music videos out there in today's day and age unless the effect is going to enhance that video 
you really just see a simple cut to cut but just the shot is very powerful so focus on the shot not on the effects and number fourth on the list is switch up the movement now the biggest mistake i see a lot of creators today do in music videos and again i know you're probably a victim of this and that is shooting a whole music video on a gimbal don't be afraid to switch it up make sure you always have a tripod with you make sure you grab some handheld shots if the story needs it do not shoot everything on a gimbal now there is times obviously where you just have to kind of run and gun because that's what it requires you don't have enough time but if you have the time please take a tripod please grab handheld shots use the gimbal as well but do not use only one static shot unless the story needs it then switch it up number five on the list is you don't need a big budget to get epic shots for example the music video you just watched the first minute or so it was all shot outdoors no budget you didn't need a budget you just needed an outside place you needed some place some residential area to just walk a dog you don't need a big budget to execute the second scene that we shot at yes it was my mini mark so if you want to price that then the studio will be at 130 so it'll be 26 let's say 300 dollars with fees and everything 300 dollars for a studio and you're able to get that type of shot the rest of it the night scenes were outside somewhere everything else was outside so just keep in mind do not let a small budget tell you hey you know like i can't create this or i can't pull it off you can if you just execute in the treatment for a basic video that doesn't have a budget you could still dominate and execute a perfectly good video just it's just at that point it comes down to your creativity because the budget's not there but that's how you're gonna get better that's how you're gonna get to the bigger budgets if you can execute on a simple 500 dollars video you can definitely get to a five ten thousand dollar video take your time on every video that you're doing understand not every video is gonna have a big budget so it's up to you to make it happen and eventually you'll get to that but you gotta dominate the smaller budgets and get creative with it and you know just kill the game keep in mind the music video you just watched had no treatment i just stuck to these five key tests meaning do not let a low budget hold me back from executing a good image I kept the video moving, kept it interesting, kept dropping every 30 seconds a scene. Again, we just made it work. Now we had that one time, for example, it was cut, 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 and it was different type of scenes. I, all we did was drive and we just kept making stops every two minutes and just had them there, had them here, had them here in a tripod shot, try to keep it static to just kind of align that. That doesn't require much. You're just gonna make multiple stops. It's about working within the budget and just applying these five tips that I just talked about in order to just execute. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, drop it a like, comment if I missed anything that maybe can help you guys. And if this video did help you guys, subscribe to the channel. Always appreciate that. And I guess before I leave, I'm gonna keep eating my guacamole. I don't even know if I told you guys, but every time I do a YouTube video, I always have water and a taco, food or something because Half the time, this YouTube thing takes me a while. I'm not the best when it comes to this camera talk, all right? And yeah, just looking at it, look, it's 18 minutes and 51 seconds rolling. Realistically, it's probably gonna be like a six minute video or seven. That's how bad I am talking to the camera, but you don't stop, you keep eating until your mouth. I don't even know where I was going with that. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Yeah. So good.